Hey guys, this is a Hogwarts Legacy guide on how to figure out how to enter the runes as part of the A Bird in the Hand quest. Okay, so this quest can be quite confusing when you're on the outside here. You have the kind of like puzzle situation, then you have the door. Now there's two symbols that are lit up on the door and have like these black lines towards them, right? So you've got the sun symbol and then you have like one that looks like a key. This is the sun symbol here. Basically what you have to do is make the shadow, because this thing here has a light on it, you have to make the shadow kind of cast onto that symbol. So you have to have that pillar be on the opposite end of the of that symbol right so you got to drag this around here so that it's opposite the the sun symbol which is down there so you put it here and then it costs a shadow much like how you see on the door so you can see here it lit up it's all perfect the shadow makes it directly onto here and then we got to move this one to make a shadow onto this side so again you're gonna have to take it basically opposite the the pillar in the middle so here there and then we take this pillar that we're not using for the sun and we take it around all the way to the other side over here so it has to be directly opposite the other one there so it's going to rest basically on these circle points here because it has to rest on the circle point and once it does that it will stop and it will light up and the door will open and that is exactly how you get in this cave if you made it further into the cave and you got to this point, let me show you how to solve the, the other puzzles in this cave that might be confusing if you if you haven't really done these before. So this first one here, you just have to drag the box down with Wingardium Leviosa and then Levioso it so that it can float, which is the picture of the leaf icon, right? Just to get it to float and you jump up and there is a chest that you collect up here, which is basically over there. I've already opened it, so you can use that to get up here. And then you're gonna do a very similar puzzle in this next little section here beneath these trees, right? So you're gonna follow along this pathway here and we're gonna to get to the next puzzle area over here. So we've got two cubes that we need to bring here. The first one is gonna be on the left here and then left again. And you'll see the cube is literally just here. You're just gonna pick it up off of the, the shelf, nice and easy, drop it on the fire section. So this is the fire one, dropped on the fire section. Then you're gonna use Wingardium Leviosa on this like box thing again. And you're gonna take it to the right hand side and you're gonna put it here and you're gonna repeat the process that you did earlier. Use Levioso to just float it so that it stays floating and then you can climb it and use it as a, a like a ledge to climb on of sorts. And then use Wingardium Leviosa to bring this one and we're gonna take it down and we're gonna put it on that platform down there. So let's quickly go and do that. So pick it up, put it on the platform. Now you'll see this one has the, an icon on it. This is Glacius. You need to use the ice spell. So use Glacius on it. And then the other one is a fire icon. So you need to set it on fire. So use Incendio or Confrigo and you'll see this will open up the door. And that's how you complete the puzzles in this cave. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.